Toby Crable practically put the open range breakout concept on the map through his book in the 90s. In his book, he also goes about another great concept, which is the narrow range bar. And today we will use this concept to build a strategy profitably on the indexes. So if you Google NR7 or NR4, you will find many articles about this concept. Basically, it's counting the narrow range bar in a number of previous bars. So NR4 denotes to narrow range in four bars and NR7 denotes narrow range bar in seven bars. So here is a strategy trading the NR4. Now the green indicator at the bottom, so it's zero and when it finds a narrow range bar, it goes to one. So for example, you see this one, this is one, that means this bar is the narrowest range in the previous four bars. So again, we see here one. So this bar is the narrowest range in the previous four bars. And you see another one here, which comes right after this one. And again, this one is the narrowest range in the previous four bars. Now, because we are trading this on the S&P 500 index and the S&P 500 index, like all US indexes has a drift to go up. So we will use this concept to trade long side only. So we will go long when we find this narrow range pattern. So here we find it, we go long next bar. And again, here we find it, we go long next bar. Here we find it, we go long next bar. Now here we find it, but we are already in the trade. Now why we are still in the trade? Because the exit, I have four bars also. So every time we enter, we count four bars. One, two, three, four, we exit next bar. Here we enter because this is a narrow range. We enter next bar and then we count one, two, three, four, we exit next bar. So it's an extremely simple strategy and we can see the profitability. This is the equity line and let's see the stop trade. So we have 484 trades and averaging at $200. And this is the annual performance since 2006, 2008 down, 2015 down, and current year is down also. Now, this is an amazing thing to see because the concept was introduced in a printed book 30 years ago. And to have 30 years out of sample still working, it's absolutely amazing. Remember, we didn't do anything. We just used the narrow range bar, marry it to the right instrument because we want to go long and all stocks and stock indexes, they have a drift to the upside and that's it. And then we go along the next bar. There is no breakout level. We're just entering at the open and no stop loss, no profit target. We're just exiting after a number of bars. In this case, it's four. Now, of course, once we know the concept works very nice, then we can easily add uh, some customizations like profit target stop loss or change the number of bars and you can optimize all these and find a stable area that works for you. So now I added another exit, which is if the close is higher than the previous high. Basically, it's just a confirmation that we made money and I want to exit as quick as possible. And I also added a floor and ceiling with the stop loss and profit target, which is $5,000 each. So if we compile now, we see now we have a different profile. We're losing more this year, more in 2008. And now we're making 126,000, 38,000 drawdown. So a three return to drawdown ratio. And our trade analysis for 113 trades, they are all long, 64% win rate, 300 average trade. And this is how the strategy looks like. So now we are still entering the same as before, but now sometimes look at this, we exit earlier because this is a stop loss. This one, we exit the same bar because of the profit target. This one again, we exit earlier because of profit target now the idea is not to make as much money as possible of course you can take that but remember you need to look at a profile that suits your other strategies that you're going to combine in a portfolio so even though i picked more money here but you saw that i have a uh, worse drawdown but depends on where that drawdown sits maybe it will match better with other strategies in the portfolio regardless you can easily pick and choose whatever because once you optimize, you can find many stable areas 
with all of them making more than a hundred thousand dollars and now by adding a simple filter so we're still making a hundred twenty two thousand dollars but now our drawdown is less but look at this look at the annual period you can see how the profile changed completely by adding a filter we are still making the same amount of money but now the profile it's much better than before and you can see this is the equity line so now we're applying the exact same strategy to a portfolio so this is we are looking the narrow range bar in the past four bars and we're exiting after four bars or if the close higher than the previous high and we have five thousand dollars stop loss five thousand uh, dollar profit target and now we're trading the nasdaq treasuries and uh, russell and mid cap and the s p 500 so five instruments and this is the result we're making half a million dollars where our maximum drawdown now is 74 and you can see how this is amazing because remember the s p had a 35 thousand dollar drawdown so now we only doubled the s p drawdown but we made uh, six uh, five times more money let's look at the equity so this is the equity curve and the drawdown and let's look at the trade analysis we have 1500 trades since 2006 63 percent win rate average of 366 dollars per trade now this is not including commission and slippage but as you can see the number is huge and we can easily accommodate any slippage in commission and now since we have a portfolio we just look at what's happening with each so we can see all of them have a good number of trades and nasdaq is the most money maker and let's see so the mid cap is highly correlated with the russell so russell is highly correlated with all of them except, except of course bonds bonds you can see it's not correlated with any of them because obviously it's a totally different instrument now of course you can take this concept and apply it to other sectors like the energy sector the agriculture sector the concept uses a short-term pattern that should work on many many instruments because the look back period is only four and in fact many markets will consider these four uh, bars as as noise and you can trade that noise actually if you are holding a short term to learn more make sure to watch these videos and i will see you there